All right, Kathy, it is BravoCon weekend. You're gonna ham it up with all the hunky-dory people out there. Yes. Are you pouring Casa del Sol for these people? I, I've got some in the trunk, always available. Uh, we are about to watch your parts of the Beverly Hills reunion. Uh -huh. The trailer, you came in hot. What you did to my sister, and you drove Lisa Vanderpump off the show. I mean, the list can go on and on. Did you come with a game plan? Did you have a mission that day? Or did you surprise yourself with how intense you were? You know when you're passionate about something, and there's eight women on the show, so there's times you try to say something or get something, and it's cut. You can't use everything. So I wanted to make sure that I got my points across. So hopefully that they will use it. <laughs> Did you get what you needed out of that day? Um, well, I think the most important thing is that uh, it's, I don't know because it's frustrating. I feel like that what was said, I apologized, but I didn't know what I was apologizing for because a couple episodes later, we see what she said about me. And it's just interesting because she would say, I get it, I get it, I got it. Uh, you're preaching to the choir. And agreed with me on so many things. And then to start all of this um, is just really frustrating. Yeah, you didn't think she was gonna take any and, and private completely, conversation. Well, no, to change the conversation around. So where do you two stand after reunion? I have no idea. What about you and Kyle? Where do you guys go from here? We've been texting, and uh, she's been in New York here for a few days before I got here, so. Okay, I got one more question for uh -huh. you. Lisa Rinna said you're jealous of the Kardashians, then Kris Jenner's been showing you a lot of love on Instagram. What does that mean to you? This is like my sister, you know? We've known each other for 38 years, so. No jealousy. No, no, I love her. There we go, well, enjoy the, the weekend.